In this video, I'll show you how to make a six strip tensegrity with three axes of symmetry. So notice that it's got two struts like this, and if I turn it, it looks identical. If I turn it again, it looks identical again. Here's how we'll do it. First we'll put these struts down the table, and then we'll connect two others to it, and then we'll do the verticals. First we'll put down these two, and we'll connect them to this one. We'll use all 150 millimeter cords for this structure. Put two of them in two holes that are lined up, like so. And then, put those into two holes that are neighboring. So the way to do it is to pick a hole, put your cord in, and roll it around until you see that one, and use the next one. Do the same over here. And already you can see where we're headed. This strut is this strut. And you can see that it has cords that go down to a vertical. The same way this one goes down to the vertical. And then there will be two other cords that come out the bottom of that one that go to another horizontal. Let's add that one by just flipping this over. It'll be easier to work that way and you'll be able to see what I'm doing because the camera's up here. So we'll put one in here. I want it to be the mirror image of this one. Put a cord into the neighboring hole. That was the one we already used up there. Like so. And the same thing over here, the mirror image. Now we'll lay this one across. Put this cord in there. And we'll put this one in its neighbor. Right here. Same thing over here. We use the same hole we did on that side. So now, you can see that this structure, this one, is this one, so this one, and above it, that's one that goes across, this one, above that one goes across, and the same over here. Now, we'll add these. These are easier to add if they're preloaded. You're going to have to make a bunch of connections pretty quickly. It's good to make them quickly because when you can balance the tension. You can, you can create the tension by making a connection on one side and balance it by creating the mirror image connection on the other side. And that keeps it from being too much of a pain to hold in your hand. Here we go. So these will be the verticals. We can place this one vertically on the table, and then just pick this up and hold it like so. These connections will go to the holes that we can see visible on the top. So this one goes over here. This one over there. Make sure to not use the holes on this side because we'll do another vertical over there and that one will get connected here. 
Now it gets a little trickier. We'll make a connection here to there. And here to there. So we've brought the four chords on this side to the four holes visible to us on the top. Now we're going to flip it vertically. And to do that, we'll grab this bottom one and we'll pull down a little bit. Pulling and pulling down like this. And then we'll flip it. And hold it in the same way we did just a moment ago. We'll run these four to the four holes we can see on top. This one goes in here. This one goes in here. This one goes in here. And this one goes in there. So now we have a structure that looks kind of like this. And we need to add another strut in this direction down below. So we'll flip it over like this, get another strut, and we'll preload it just like we did before. Just as we did before, we'll put it down on the table, pick this up, and we'll start making connections here and here. These will take a little more wrangling this time. Bring them in with your hand, take some of the tension off of them. Don't worry too much if the bottom of this one starts sliding around. It's not going anywhere. You can, you can pick it up and it won't, it won't move. With these four connections made, we can do as we did before. Grab this one, pull down, down this way, and turn it over. And make the last four connections. There you have it. Six struts with three axes of symmetry.